Hello friends, welcome to Electronic Circuit Hub. So today we are going to understand about the basics of flyback converter or flyback topology, right? So this flyback topology is most commonly used topology in the industry for low power application, right? So today we will understand what is the flyback converter, what are the advantages of flyback converter right what is the operations of flyback converter okay so in this video we will understand these all things in details right so let us let us get started right so you can see uh, this is the basic schematic of flyback converter or flyback topology you can see here we have input we have output and in between you can see this is called as a coupled inductor or transformer right this is this is called as a coupled inductor you can see the image also this is coupled inductor or transformer okay this is called flyback transformer so in the input you can see this is seen that is called sometime called called raw dc capacitor or bulk capacitor then we have transformer this side is called primary primary side of the transformer or primary windings of the transformer this is called switch right this is called switch uh, oftenly this is made by the mosfet and you can see here we have secondary binding of the transformer then this is the diode D out output capacitor okay so this flyback converter has two binding this is v out and v out x so guys let us understand this more in detail okay how what is the advantages of flyback converter right um what uh, what is the operations of flyback converter how flyback converter works how energy stored in the primary winding of the transformer then it is being transferred to the negative winding of the transformer what is the role of this dot so let us understand this so the basic first question is what is the flyback converter right so a flyback converter is a switch mode power supply or sometime it is called smps so s stand for switch m stand for mode p stand for power s stand for supply okay flyback can be used to generate dc output either from ac input or dc input right a flyback is designed in a such a way that the power from input is transferred to the output during the off time of the primary switch so this is the this is the main function main operation of the flyback flyback topology a flyback is used in low to mid power range usually less than 100 watt right let us quickly understand and discuss the advantages of the flyback topology or flyback converter right so flyback topology has low parts as we have seen in the first slide okay so it has low part low parts count that is input capacitor primary side switch usually a mosfet coupled inductor are called a flyback transformer output rectifier output capacitor right flyback other advantages of flyback is the first advantage is it has low parts count and the other advantages are like flyback transformer provides input to output isolation so this is main benefits of flyback transformer right carefully Careful design of flyback trans ratio between primary and secondary enable to be higher or lower lower output than the input. Okay, flyback topology supports wide input voltage range. Flyback topology supports multiple output by adding more binding to the transformers. Flyback topology uses single magnetics called transformer or coupled inductor. This transformer combines the function of energy storage, energy transfer, and isolation. No need of separate LT, LC filters 
at output so in the flyback topology no need of separate lc filter right at output flyback topology has lower cost compared to other topology why because it has lower parts count right now let us understand quickly the operation of flyback topology so you can see this is the primary side i have drawn here this is the primary side it has input voltage ye uh, transformer primary winding and switch is shorted okay that means mosfet your mosfet is on and you can see your current is flowing like this your current is flowing through your primary winding of the primary winding of the transformer let us understand how current ramp up in the primary winding of the transformer right and how how mosfet turns on and how it is stored the energy right so when the mosfet turns on energy from the input source is stored in the transformer specifically in the gap of the transformer right this much this is much like filling the bucket from the well you, you can see this is the well and you are filling your bucket from the well from the well right think of a source a source as a well so this is the source and a bucket as a bucket as a transformer so let's say your input is your source your well and your transformer is your bucket okay so your input is a source and your transformer is a bucket because of the transformer winding scheme noted by the dot polarity i have mentioned in the starting of the video the dot polarity making the transform dot polarity in the schematic the output diode is reverse bias during the on time of the mosfet okay so during the on time of the mosfet this output diode is a reverse bias we will understand more in detail right let us understand the mosfet off time what happens during the off time of the mosfet so here you can see i have drawn only the output side or secondary side okay and you can see diode is shorted and current flows this way okay when the mosfet is turned off the bucket stop filling and the diode now conducts okay the diode now conducts and energy is stored from the transformer transformer primary winding is delivered to the load okay so it is important to know that the mosfet and the diode will never conduct at the same time it uh, either mosfet conducts or diode conducts but both they together never conducts right let us understand the operation during the mosfet on time what is the stress at this this diode okay when the mosfet turns on this is called on time of the converter right input voltage is applied to the primary side of the transformer when the mosfet turns on the primary side currents ramp up proportional to the input voltage during this time the secondary diode is reverse biased and it is acting as a open circuit it acts as a open circuit the voltage stress or the voltage applied to the diode is equal to the output voltage plus reflected input voltage so when the mosfet is turned on the voltage stress at this diode you can see which is given by v diode equals to v out plus v in into ns divided by np this is called reflected input voltage so this voltage stress you can see when the mosfet is turned on so during the on time of the mosfet your output capacitor plays a vital role and it supplies the energy to the load okay let us understand the off time of the mosfet how how you fly back topology works okay so when mosfet turns off the current in the transformer transfer to the secondary and flows to the diode now diode is in forward bias that and filling the capacitor and supplying to the load so during the mosfet off time the primary sides is considered as a open circuit and the voltage stress at mosfet is equal to the input voltage plus reflected output voltage 
ओके सो दिस एक्ट्स एज ए ओपन सर्किट एंड जो मॉस्फेट ड्रेन टू सोर्स वोल्टेज विच इज गिवेन बाय वी डी एस इज इक्वल टू वी इन प्लस वी आउट इन टू एन पी डिवाइड बाई एन एस सो दिस इज कॉल्ड सेकेंडरी या और आउटपुट रिफ्लेक्टेड वोल्टेज विच इज विच इज यर ओके तो यू हैव टू नोट दैट द वी डी एस एंड वी डी वी डी एस स्टैंड फॉर वोल्टेज ड्रेन टू सोर्स स्ट्रेस एंड वी डी स्टैंड फॉर सेकेंडरी डायोड स्ट्रेस इक्वेशन सोन हियर लाइक दिस इक्वेशन एंड दिस प्रीवियस इक्वेशन राइट इज सोन हियर डो नॉट अकाउंट द एडिशनल वोल्टेज स्ट्रेस कॉल्ड फ्रॉम सर्किट पैरासिटिक सो आई हैव कंसिडर हियर ओनली टू स्ट्रेसेस दैट इज इनपुट वोल्टेज प्लस रिफ्लेक्टेड वोल्टेज हियर यू कैन सी द आउटपुट वोल्टेज प्लस द रिफ्लेक्टेड इनपुट वोल्टेज so it doesn't account the stresses caused by parasitics like the stresses caused by the this parasitic capacitance and the leakage inductance are primary inductance right so guys hope you now understood about basics about the flyback topology advantages of flyback topology what is the flyback topology what is how flyback topology works if you have any further question feel free to ask him in comment section thanks for your patience guys